now. Okay, with that, um, I will give the floor over to uh, uh, Shafiq uh, from uh, the uh, Balamant University in uh, Lebanon uh, to give us a, a briefing about the activities implemented in Lebanon, in particular to support the policy making uh, of the higher education authorities. Please. Thank you, Klaus. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Klaus. So, uh, good morning, everybody, again. And uh, as Klaus mentioned, I'll be talking about. Uh, the developments uh, done by here to support the, the authorities in Lebanon. First of all, uh, these are the members of, uh, of the HERE team uh, and, uh, of course, the NTO office. And uh, here are some working sessions uh, at, at the NTO uh, place. Uh, my presentation will go throughout this outline, only two themes. What are the activities with the authorities that we have conducted and what are the key elements we think that make these activities, in our opinion, a little bit successive. Uh, so, uh, success, successful, sorry. So, first of all, this is the timeline. Uh, we started in February 2008, and I pointed on this uh, timeline uh, the major, uh, major activities that we have conducted. Uh, we started by a national survey, and this was in just in, from February 2008, till June 2008, that ended with some uh, recommendations, with, some, uh, with a round table with the different stakeholders and a set of recommendations throughout the whole uh, higher education uh, system. And then afterwards, we start working on the basis of this, these recommendations. Uh, the, we, have, we had at that time a change in the ministry, and they asked us to cooperate with another team called HERT, um, and this led to a proposal of for seven projects that we'll discuss a little bit about. This was in October 2009. And the activity continued like this. Uh, and we have, uh, we have been asked also to support the ministry in organizing a NARAB uh, minister uh, conference by Alexo that was held in Beirut. And uh, the year was actively represented. And we have done two studies. We'll go through them uh, later on. And we have been very active to propose several of the ideas that we have learned in, in those seminars uh, from, from the European development to, the, to be adopted by, by the Arab ministers of, uh, Conference of Ministers. Then, uh, uh, when, then we had also another change of ministry, and the new minister asked uh, the HERE team to participate in setting a plan for, for a few years. And we have been also very active in setting the plan for the new ministry. And in, we participated in this period in 2010 in setting the new higher education law in, in Lebanon. This law, as we will see later on, uh, was uh, adopted by the, uh, minister, the Council of Ministers and is now in the Parliament for amendment. Meanwhile, there have been also a start of a new project uh, funded by USAID and with the support of the Lebanese, or maybe given to the Lebanese Association of uh, Education Sciences, and they requested that also the HERE team will be in this uh, committee. And this was the, the objective was to place also to make also uh, a new law, a draft law for the quali for a quality assurance agency. Actually, those laws are in the minister plan, so they come from here. And we also uh, uh, participated very actively in this and. Uh, as a member, uh, as a, pardon, a member as here, not, uh, not at personal level. And then uh, this law has been discussed also, we'll, we'll see. And finally, the, the final draft was, was drafted by here, and it, it is submitted to the Council of Ministers. And throughout from, let's say, from uh, June 2010 uh, till now, we have an ETF project with Europe regarding the Lebanese National Qualification uh, Framework that is conducted and we have a first, a first draft or a first result that I will show you. And currently we, are, uh, we have been asked to, uh, to think about a strategy for modernization of higher education. So this is uh, how, how it's, uh, it's, we, we went through the activity. So let's start one, one by one. So we started by a national survey um, the idea, well, this, this activity was first of all initiated by the minister, by, uh, by a letter from the minister. Then we have developed a questionnaire sent to all the uh, stakeholders. 
uh, the stakeholders reply. We have done a statistical analysis, a study of the replies, and we have uh, uh, acquired the data, analyzed them, and then it resulted in a round table where everyone was, were here under the auspices of uh, the minister also, and we presented the results of the survey discussion, and we ended with some recommendations. Let me show you a little bit what were the recommendations. This was, this was uh, in June 2008, and it uh, mainly... It mainly reflects uh, the, uh, the, uh, the ideas or the major component of uh, the European higher education area. Um, so uh, we, we said one of the recommendations state that the Bologna process and Lisbon strategy may serve as a reference model to inspire the modernization process of the Lebanese higher education sector. So this was admitted by uh, all the stakeholders present. And... Uh, uh, then there is a need for a reference and mandatory Lebanese national qualification system. This was also another recommendation. Uh, we, we also, uh, well, here we talk a little bit about research. Then we said quality assurance process must be implemented internally to the institution and externally at the national level. This is also one of the results. And again, the Lebanese national qualification system. Of course, also we, from the recommendation, we asked, uh, well, we agreed that we will have like, uh, like Tempest champion or like Bologna champion in the different universities, but this will never, would, uh, is, was not, uh, no, we, will, we have not succeeded to make it official. We have a lot of representative in the institutions. We have this recommendation, but we did not succeed making it officially at the national level. So after that, we have been asked since, uh, due to the result of this uh, roundtable and gathering the whole stakeholders and getting something out of it, we have been asked to, uh, to assist uh, another team uh, in order to define uh, concrete projects uh, to, be, uh, to be realized at the level of, uh, of the higher education system. So we define a list of priority and we have seven projects defined. And let me show you how... Uh, Please allow me to show you. So, uh, so it, it is called setting the stage for higher education modernization. The subcomponent one was strengthening the quality assurance mechanism. So we have it has been agreed at, at the level of ministry. Uh, then developing a higher education information management system. Um, then subcomponent three supporting the creation of the Lebanese National Doctoral School. Uh, okay. <laughs> national qualification framework, institutional development, education sector financing to enhance equity and increase efficiency, and there is one more. Uh, no. Education management information system. So these are the different projects we submitted to the, uh, to the ministry to get developed uh, in the, uh, in the next years, actually. Um, then we have been asked, as I said before, to support in the preparation of documents, of studies, for, the, uh, for a conference of the, minister, uh, of the Arab minister uh, responsible of higher education and, and, uh, and uh, research. So um, this, this conference was held in December 2009. Uh, it's, uh, it's an Alexo uh, conference, and we have been asked to, to, to prepare two studies, or at least one study is fully prepared by the uh, year team, by Tempest year team, and one study we just cooperate with, the, with other colleagues. So the study with the year team is international cooperation in the Arab higher education, and uh, the other study is development and modernization of higher education plans and programs to respond to the society needs. So we have also provided uh, some presentations during this gathering, and we participated actively to the recommendation where we have been able to introduce two new elements. Uh, the idea of having a regional qualification framework. Uh, this was a first idea. And, um, um, well, we, ha we also suggested that we will have a, a kind of uh, organization of uh, doctoral studies huh? at, the, at, the whole, at the level of the region. 
So these were the recommendations done by us as, as a here group inside this, the, the committees. And uh, then we participated to the preparation, and as I said, uh, we, we have been asked also to support in defining a plan for the new minister for five years plan in higher education. This, this plan was approved by the government in April 2010. It includes the following point, a new law for higher education that we, we actively participate in setting. Uh, a new law for the Lebanese university, which is a unique public university in Lebanon. In Lebanon. We did not have a lot of advancement in this point. A new law for quality assurance. So we have uh, this law. And a national Lebanese qualification framework. This is the ETS project. And enabling mobility between different education systems, meaning uh, connecting the different paths and connecting education with economic development. So uh, this plan we activated into it. And uh, the new, then, uh, actually, we started working uh, with different committees in establishing this uh, draft law for new education, uh, for the higher education, the new draft law. So this a, a draft law has been, as I said, has been written, has been proposed. It has been submitted to the Council of Ministers, accepted, then sent to the Parliament for amendment. And this law includes, define the objective of higher, it defines actually the objective of higher education, the higher education institution, their missions and programs, and the degrees that, that could deliver, they, they could deliver. Uh, this law also uh, clearly and precisely set or, and defined the regulating bodies, what are the committees that are responsible in the Lebanese higher education, which are the higher education upper national committee, the technical and academic committee, the recognition committee, and the evaluation and accreditation, and the role of each committee is, in, is now very well defined, and the resources that go, with, uh, go aside. And we have in this law also licensing by laws, how it works, how we can license a new higher education institution, and the procedures especially related to quality control. We have also uh, the, rights, the rights of the higher education students is well defined, and this is, I think, a, a major input from the HERE team, uh, because we insisted that we have a, a, specif a specific section regarding uh, the students. And as I said, this, uh, this draft law was approved at the Council of Ministers, and it's now in the Parliament. Uh, also, we have been asked to participate with this activity funded by Amidist, but regarding the Lebanese Quality Assurance Agency, and we drafted a, also a new law. Of course, we participated as here, so as, as a Tempest here uh, member, and uh, the project was conducted, as I said, by the Lebanese Association for Education Sciences. Um, and we followed the following uh, process to reach this draft law. We, we start by reviewing all the existing uh, laws worldwide regarding uh, quality assurance agency. So we had a report where we say these are the different laws that exist. We compare them, etc. And then uh, we set a series of questions based on this law, what we think are critical for our uh, national higher education system, saying, well, for example, is multilingualism is a major part. In Lebanon, we have a, div a very diverse system. How to cope with diverse system? Because in other places, the system is ma mainly is unique. And here we have diversity. How can we avoid having conflict if we set a quality assurance agency? So a set of questions like this. And then uh, after we, we have uh, done this, we presented and discussed those questions in a first national workshop under the auspices of the minister. And here we had all, also all the stakeholders. Based on this workshop and the reply we got from the different present persons, we draft a first version of this, uh, of this law. And we have discussed in a sec that, and we also represented to the higher education stakeholder and a sec in a second national workshop and in this, uh, we have also invited here some, uh, some, uh, some experts from Europe. And uh, based on the result also collected, uh, we have a new draft that has been presented to the minister, taking into consideration all the comments collected in the two workshops. The minister has formed another committee, where also here was a member that discussed this law, and then uh, they formulated some comments. 
And finally, the whole, uh, the whole comments and the, the, the proposed draft went back to here. And we were the team that finally decided what was the, uh, what was the final version of the draft law that should be submitted to the Council of Ministers. And this law that has been submitted and uh, defined the role of the agency, it's a structure. We had defined uh, it has a, uh, an admi well, it has a director and uh, a, tr a, a body of trustees and uh, we, it have, well, it has a structure. And we have the finance of the agency. Uh, how, it is, how it can be financed, we suppose that the financement, for example, here in, in our case, we support it's a joint finance between the higher education institution and the ministry. And the draft, as I said, was submitted to the Council of Ministers. Um, uh, we also worked within, ET, within a project supported by Europe, ETF, on the Lebanese National Qualification Fr Framework. A committee also here was formed. From, uh, including officials from the ministry and also uh, from here, from, from our team. Uh, we had, they had several training and discussion sessions with the ETF expert. And uh, as a resulting uh, uh, outcomes, we, had a map, we have now a map of the different degrees delivered uh, in Lebanon that is, that is available. And recently, the minister requested uh, a stronger involvement of Tempest here and uh, a support and the follow-up of this, uh, of this uh, Lebanese qualification framework. And the whole project went back now to, uh, to the team. And uh, our, our a first set of comments have been formulated on the work done, saying, OK, we have to first start <coughs> defining what will be the result, uh, what is the need. and what is the objective, the aim of this qualification framework. So we have formulated some, a set of, uh, of comments, and we have set now an action plan to finalize uh, a first draft of this qualification framework. And as I said, uh, very recently, uh, the ministry asked us to, uh, to, to start thinking about a full strategy of reform in the coming years. And uh, uh, this is just a starting activity. So. I think we did not start yet, but we are just uh, discussing. Uh, we have no, not a single meeting yet, but this is, the request has been formulated, so, so this will be in the coming months. Um, uh, this was the, uh, the activity directly related with the authorities. We have also more activities uh, that are not directly related with, uh, with the authorities. We have uh, activities within the higher education system uh, I think it's good to, to talk about them just very briefly. We have a lot of seminars. We have developed those flyers, uh, one, on over, uh, one regarding the Bologna process here. I can open it here. And one uh, regarding the quality assurance. OK, this one is the quality assurance. So we have developed flyers that we distribute. And we have a lot of training sessions that we conduct. For example, in the last National Information Day of Tempus, uh, actually in every National Information Day of, uh, of Tempus, we have like a half day where we do some training session. In the last one, we have done a training session on ECTS and a training session on learning outcomes. Um, um, so we, we do such things. We have a website that we, we do. Uh, we, have, we write a lot of reports. and. Uh, Recently, also, we have, uh, we have tried. Uh, oh, no. OK, we also proposed we had, an activity, we had an activity regarding quality assurance with the Association of the Lebanese Universities. So the Lebanese Universities, uh, this was uh, like two months ago, decided to have a full, uh, a full workshop about the whole, a whole quality assurance system. And here we had the support also of uh, UNICA, we had two experts that were uh, present in, uh, in, in this conference. Um, and I'm not able to open it now again. But here we, it is done in the, in the invitation letter. It is said that it is with the Tempest office. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's here. So it's, it's completely, we, we have been a complete partner in organizing this, uh, this with the Lebanese uh, Association of Universities. And we have also here a set of recommendations 
that, that, uh, that cover the different aspect of a quality assurance system we are, we are targeting in Lebanon. And uh, also from the seminars we are getting here, we, from the last seminar, we decided that for the coming year, for 2011, we'll be pushing to involve more and more students. And one of the activities we have is now we have an internship. We, de we decided that we will have students that will, they will do their internship with the team, with the HERE team. Uh, so this is new. Uh, we have one student. Uh, uh, she's a lady. Oh, she's a, well, she's a lady. Uh, doing her studies in, her master's study in education in, in Germany, actually. And she's doing her internship with us to study the international vector in the different higher education institution in Lebanon. So, um, so we... Besides the activity with the authorities, we have also a set of activities that we conduct directly with the, with the institution. And we think that we, oh, we start discussing the organization of a workshop involving the students or with a majority of participation from the students and maybe having some support also from UNICA to have some students from Europe that come and uh, interact with the Lebanese students regarding, regarding modernization aspects. Okay. Now, we would like to, uh, well, it's, uh, it's our team discussion, so we say that it would, it would be good, besides the, the, uh, describing uh, the activities, it would be also good to say how we reflect um, uh, about these activities, why we think that we have, uh, uh, we have succeeded in some places. So, actually, obviously, the whole process of, uh, that we have, we have done uh, involves uh, two aspects, a support with added value in several domains to the, to, the, to the whole system, for the authorities, but also to the whole system. And uh, we think that uh, it is a trust-building process that we have conducted uh, throughout the, the past three years in Lebanon. So the added value support actually... Uh, um, has also a kind of strategy, has also a kind of, um, uh, of plan that we adopted, not, probably not from the early beginning, but from the early beginning we had some vision and it has developed, and I say, uh, one may say it has, we vibrated with the different conference we're having here, like this one. So we adopted depending on what, what we got of inform as information. But it started by a main point, which is the identification of needs, a precise identification of needs. When we first uh, gathered together in a meeting, we thought what, what would be the need of, uh, in, in Lebanon. And we think that there has been a need at the planning level uh, to support, the, at least for the authority side, we think that we ha there has been a need in the planning level. And we think that, we, and we tried to convince uh, everybody, uh, that, that the European reference model is a good model for us because in Lebanon it's very diverse. So maybe it's not the sim similar argument that apply elsewhere, but in Lebanon the, we don't have one system. We have, we have uh, I don't know, maybe 20 systems. We have 40 university, like maybe every two or three adopt one, one system. So it's very diverse. So it's like a small laboratory, and we, we identified this similarity with the European system, and we try to convince everyone that we have something to learn from the European model. And uh, there is also another, another factor that, that makes this support of added value. There, is, there has been a will to improve, reform, and develop in the three ministers that we have uh, met till now. And uh, as I said, we identified that the European model would be an excellent reference model for us because of the diversity vector. It's very, very important. So we try to understand it very well, and it has been explained to us, and we try to explain what we have uh, understood to the, to the stakeholders in Lebanon. Um, we never presented the, the European model as a competitive model, actually, but rather a federating model to the community because to, in order to avoid... Uh, um, some, for example, with some American-style university to get some, uh, some uh, different uh, conflictual position. So we say it's a federating model, and, and I think this, this was also a key aspect in our, in our uh, behavior. 
And as I said before, at every early beginning, here identified the inspiring aspect of the European model due to, due to the diversity of the Lebanese higher education. And for example, uh, like in the la last National Information Day, when we were discussing ECTS, we had some say, okay, we have the cre American credit system, ECTS. So we stress on the aspect of the student-centered. And so we, we never presented as a conflictual model. And of course, uh, a key component for, uh, to, 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 have, uh, to, to support the Lebanese higher education uh, in a good way is the strong support we're having from, uh, from at the European level. I mean, from uh, the agency, from UNICA, um, and of course, by, by Jacques, etc. So, and, and, and I said about the different uh, experts that we had in Lebanon and uh, helping us in different aspects. Um, the other, the other feature is the trust building process. So we tried from the beginning also to, to create a trust between us and the different uh, major players in the Lebanese higher education. This did not start from scratch. Actually, our NTO and our National Tempest Office had already uh, uh, developed a kind of image of a uh, label of, of quality, I think and a trust with the different uh, stakeholders. So we, we, we leverage on it and, and we build on it. Okay. And uh, the, the different minister we had encouraged and associated the HERE team in their, dif in their different actions, uh, maybe for the need, but also for, for, for different reasons. They saw that it be, because we have provided those um, critical thoughts, uh, maybe because also we, we, we showed that we have some knowledge. So. Uh, so it was good. No? And uh, the clear engagement and support from Europe at central level, but also at the delegation level, was also a key factor that made this trust uh, strong with the authorities. Uh, good cooperation exchange with General Dector Directorate of Higher Education. The, director, uh, gen the General Director of Higher Education is also very supportive uh, for the action we are conducting and the continuously increasing interest of the autonomous Lebanese higher education institution in the activities of here in a competitive environment. As I said, we have a lot of universities and uh, the ideas that we bring home from, from the conferences, uh, they feel that they can use them in order to, to develop. And, and uh, so we become a little bit attractive so every time, uh, as I, for example, the example of uh, the Association of the Lebanese Universities, they insisted that we, ha we are a full partner in, the, in, in, their, in their activity because of, of, of these things. And we are a team that represents the higher education system, and we are very well connected. We are, we have, everyone has his different uh, uh, relationships and, and different sectors, so this is good. And I think we are motivated about it. So... That's it, and thank you.